Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Three of Swords. It's one of the most recognizable images in tarot. And I think we, we definitely see it. It's interesting, I see it a lot in tattoos. Um, there's a connection with the Sacred Heart when we talk about the Three of Swords, which does bring in the energy of Mother Mary. And so it brings with it a spiritual slash religious theme as well from that depiction. It's one of those cards that people have a very visceral reaction to. And it's very clear whether you read tarot or not, three swords sticking through, you know, piercing a heart and coming out the other side of the heart. It's pretty obvious what that's talking about. We're talking about a big level of pain, of mourning, of loss. So I have a few different images I'm going to show you. The Moonchild Tarot comes the closest to the typical depiction of the Three of Swords. I'm also going to show you the She-Wolf Tarot depiction of the Three of Swords. The Night Sun's depiction of the Three of Swords. And then the Journey into the Hidden Realm Tarot depiction of the Three of Swords. I have come to really love this depiction of the Three of Swords as the years have gone by and feel actually a really deep sense of connection to this image. When we come across this card, whether it's personally for ourselves in a reading or for someone else, while well, you know, who we are reading for, The visceral gut reaction is something that should be paid attention to because that is a response. And the response is very clear that typically we tend to want to avoid the experience of pain, of loss, of mourning and suffering that comes along with this image. I will also offer though that the Three of Swords brings with it an opportunity. And so we can, first of all, be really honest and identify for ourselves what the pain is that we're currently feeling, what the loss is that we're currently feeling, whether that's something from a past event that's affecting now or something that's literally in the middle of happening or has just happened or is something we are anticipating on our journey. So we want to be really honest with ourselves about that piece. And if we're reading for someone else, it's a beautiful option, not option, opportunity for dialogue for the querent, for what is going on in their life that is affected by past events that may be causing them to view a certain situation through a certain lens, or indeed that they may be experiencing a breakup, um, the loss of a loved one, a death, um, loss of a friendship, betrayal. We really are talking about some pretty intense themes with the Three of Swords, which makes sense why we all have such a visceral reaction to it and why a lot of times you know, people don't want to see that image. They they want to pretend that that's not what they drew or that's not what showed up in the spread or that's not what they pulled for a daily draw. Once we've identified where we're holding the loss in our minds, in, the, in our body, you know, whether that's from a past event or something that's happening now, then we want to look at how we can let it go, how we can transmute it so that the pain has served a purpose. So, and I've talked a lot about that, this in my videos this year, we, we tend to not want to feel any pain. And so we do anything we can to avoid it. And yet the purpose of pain is to get us to stop and pay attention to something. And so once we actually allow ourselves to feel the depth of the experience, the depth of our own emotions related to an experience, etc then we can re uh, achieve, reach a level of understanding as to why we've had this experience, why we are experiencing this pain. And that's where transmutation can then come in because now we can shift something. Whereas if we ran away from the pain, we never actually dealt with what has caused the pain. We've never actually stopped and looked at what the pain was asking us to look at. And if we tamp it down, it just broods and breathes in the body causing us to, you know, experience anxiety, depression, those things that we're from avoidance, from wanting to avoid, 
we're not dealing with something that's actually motivating a lot of our actions in our life unconsciously. So the Three of Swords is a call to do this work. It's a call to look at this. Now, depending on how you read it, who you're reading for, you may be able to decipher if this is a past pain that they are refusing to let go of, something that they haven't looked at and is actually motivating a lot of their actions right now, but they are not aware of it, that they don't realize it, or if you're reading for yourself, that you yourself are not wanting to realize. And then we can begin to look at how we transmute it into gold, how we can understand the lesson in the pain and stop obsessing about the experience. So this requires self-awareness and attention and also a level of self-care. So you can see how we can go really deep with the Three of Swords. So in a reading, we can say, we pull this card, we say, oh my goodness, I see that you've experienced a great loss and you're, you are, you know, your heart is in mourning. You feel the weight of this loss and it is so heavy that you don't even know sometimes if you can make it through the day or if you can get out of bed. It's that heavy. It's that real. It's that intense of an experience. So we have this piece that the card serves a purpose for, that surface layer of calling something to the light and the querent or ourselves can, you know, answer back to us. Um, oh my God, absolutely. I lost my dad when I was five and I've really been missing him. And this energy has like really, I've really been feeling it lately, even though it's been like whatever, 30, 40 years. And it's been weighing so heavily on me and I don't know how to let go of it. Right? Like, let's say that's the response that we get from expressing the, the card meaning of the three of swords. The beauty with tarot is that we can then unpack how to acknowledge or at least start acknowledging and dealing with the pain, understanding the pain, the lesson in the pain, so that we don't have to stay in the Three of Swords energy forever, which is really being trapped, isn't it? We're stuck in that box. We're stuck. We're stuck in that moment, and everything that we're experiencing is a repetition of that moment. It's viewed through that lens. So how do we start to release the lens? And Three of Swords gives us an opportunity to look at how we start to release that by naming it, by claiming it, honoring it, and then making a choice to shift that holding that we may have with that experience or person, place, or thing. And this is a process. And so working with the Three of Swords is a process, but it's also a call to not allow ourselves to stay stuck any longer. And I think over the years, that's my biggest piece with reading with the Three of Swords is, okay, this happened, this is affecting this aspect of your life. And yet now it's really time to let go of that. And even if the Three of Swords is representing something you're in the middle of experiencing, the question then can then become, how do I open up to experiencing this fully so that I don't hold on to this and keep repeating this experience so that there can be a reason for this experience, if that makes sense. And of course, we don't always need a reason, but sometimes a reason or an understanding rather is important for us in our, per in our personal journey and our experience as a, as a human. So the Three of Swords is really a call to look deeply into something, but also to let that go. So it's not a looking into something in an excavation to stay in the pain. It's an honoring and full experience of the pain in order to transmutate that, to transmute that into mm, the fodder, fertility, for a new experience in which we do not have to be de defined by that pain, by that betrayal, by that loss, by that ending, by that hurt. So it's really an opportunity for soul growth that comes along with the Three of Swords, despite how visceral it is. And I think that's why the image sticks so much in the human consciousness, the human psyche, why it is something that you see repeated when you know as you're looking around and why it does involve that energy of the sacred heart and the energy of mother mary because it can be very easy to become a martyr to the pain 
and allow that to define every aspect of your life. The Three of Swords is saying, um, we have to shift this. You know, it's, it's not we have to, but it's time to shift this. It's time to shift this. So if you have drawn this card recently, or if you are someone who doesn't understand the card fully, this is really an opportunity to get into the nitty gritty and examine um, what's, what's inside of there so that we can release it fully and let it go. And again, that examination doesn't have to be days and days and days. It can be as simple as going in, understanding the pain, breathing with the pain, and then releasing the pain. So it's very much an alchemical card. And we are really working with um, our fire and strength and the magician within ourselves, along with the high priestess, to shift and experience, to find our power and our, a better, deeper understanding of ourselves through an experience. So if you are reading with the Three of Swords or you have this come up, I hope this video helps you. Uh, it is wonderful to connect with you. As always, much love and many blessings, guys. See you in the next video.